Hi guys, it's Harvey from All Parts. Alright, I had another interesting question. Man didn't understand where the water went. Alright, on a stay right hot heater, you need a positive and negative manometer. Something similar to this. It's an electronic positive and negative manometer. Alright, this is a slack tube that takes water for positive readings only. This does positive and negative. Alright, on a stay right gas valve, gas line coming in, alright, that is the positive side. Alright, there's an um, Allen wrench you put in. Alright, and this what fits in, this is what you screw in and make nice and tight and put it on your slack tube okay very easy and fill up your slack tube to zero and then you can get your positive reading now if we want to check the blower or something similar to that why she's not firing right or whatever check you know if it has a whistle we want to check the negative reading. On a negative reading, you cannot use a slack tube. Because here you go. Here's the gas valve that is supplying the blower with gas. It has a tube running from the gas valve to the blower. All right? So if you did this T, all right, which you're supposed to put a T, you're not supposed to just take the slack tube and connect with this electronic one and take this hose off the gas valve and check your reading. That is not the correct way, okay? The correct way, and I have the parts in back of me, you have a T. For this hose okay so what I do is I take off this hose completely and I have a hose with a gas valve with a permanent T and the one side of the hose would go in my meter and one side would go into the T and then you turn it on and this is a positive and negative electronic manometer. The only thing that will work, okay? If you try to do this with a slack tube, okay? A slack tube that takes water. You'll turn on your unit, and before you know it, your water is gone. It went through the gas valve, went through the blower, and went through the heater. Happens that quick. It just goes, all gone. Okay? So you cannot do a proper positive and negative manometer reading on a stay-right heater. I think the only heater that you, well, um, what is it, a master temp, same thing as a stay-right. need a positive and negative reading okay so there you go so if you want to work on these things yourselves you need some tools and the other thing is I'll swing over that I recommend is a good good meter okay is a good meter alright and you know a good a good meter all right, that's two things you need, but you can't drill it in enough. You cannot use a slack tube on the negative side. You can only use a positive and negative manometer. So buy the proper one if you're doing your own work on stay right heaters and you want to look professional. You don't want to be in front of somebody with a slack tube and go, yeah, let's go to negative and see what negative means. And, Put this in and the water all of a sudden shoots down and the guy says, where did the water go? 
I don't know, it was magic. It disappeared. I get laughs all the time. I laugh all the time when I hear. I hooked up a manometer to my negative and the water went. Where did it go? And three weeks later, the gas valve fails. Wonder why. All right, guys. But anyway, hopefully that helps you. Take care. Bye.